How are you all doing today? Hmm? You doing pretty good? Well, that's great, because we are here at r slash indie gaming. If you don't know what this is, it's a Reddit community where we post indie games we love. And you should too. What's interesting about this community is that it's filled with tons and tons of indie games that are being worked on at this very moment. So I thought it'd be interesting if I if I go through all these indie games and show you what's up with indie game development. Also, nice animations. You're doing great work. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Co-op platformer game, huh? Is this CGI or is this claymated? No. <laughs> no. Wait. It's clay. Hold up. Hold up. That is so cool. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's awesome. Okay, it's in the title. I. I excuse me. I got. I got invested right away by the way this game looks. So if you don't know what stop motion is, it's basically a way to animate figurines picture by picture. So you have a little doll there and it's doing whatever you want. You take a picture and then you move it just a little bit and you take another picture and you move that just a little bit more and then you put all the pictures together to make it look like it's moving. These people obviously know what they're doing. This is this is beautifully animated and the the gameplay looks I'm a there's no gameplay here, but I'm invested already in it. A co-op platforming game, I, I would love to see it. Incredibly unique and interesting, go check out their stuff. Volca Balletis. They also said they have a Kickstarter, I'm gonna leave that in the description so you can go help them out make something that looks incredibly promising. I think I hate them both. I think I, I think I hate both. I think I hate both ideas here. Unless you're gonna add a little more personality to those eyes, go without the eyes. Hey, he gets it. He get, he, he, he gets it. All right, this would be a good chance to talk about um, good fighting games. So a good fighting game makes it fun to fight as as a as as you can tell right i think this game does a, a pretty good job of making uh the fighting in this game look fun and enjoyable there's there's like nice effects to it a nice crunch um the way the way the main character moves too it looks a lot of fun and then you, you have all these particle effects too uh, one thing that you don't notice at all is that when he hits something the, the screen shakes ever so slightly and just sells that impact nicely. A lot of games do this, you just don't notice it. There's a slight screen shake there and just it just makes it a little more fun to run around and punch things to death, you know? <laughs> I am... Um... There's not much to be said about this. There's a lot going on here. A lot of good things, a lot of bad things. Um, but let's talk about one thing. Making your game look nice and sleek and polished is a is a big part of like the appeal of your game. Doesn't mean it's important, uh, cause you can still have a great game that looks bizarre and weird that's why tetris that's why tetris is rated one of the best games ever because it didn't need good graphics it just needed that solid gameplay and it did well with it but nowadays there's a lot to game design uh and the way something should look this there's a lot of harsh colors hitting me on my eyes and it's hard it i don't like looking at it uh but i can't tell you anything about the gameplay because well i haven't played the game 
And it kind of, it, it's going to hit hard on the trailer with stuff like that. Not so much if the game's actually really good and it comes out and everyone loves it and word gets around about it. Just something to think about. Uh, I think this goes back to, uh, the idea of making a, a fighting game fun. This, like, the ideas here about hand thrusters and laser punching sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. This, that's not very satisfying. That's not very satisfying to punch someone like this. And like this, it's almost satisfying. It's just not as fun. And, and if it's a VR game, which I'm expecting it that it's going to be, don't don't add screen motion stuff unless you know how to do it right in VR. That's that's gonna that's gonna hurt somebody. I like the art style. Simple animation, simple color style, but it works and it looks pretty. It's looking a little barren, though. Coalish controller support, too. Pretty nice. Again, this looks really fun to play. Uh... Like the way the way the main character is moving, the way she, uh, the way her impact on the punch looks really nice and clean. I I'm very down to play this. This game looks very fun to play. The music's great. My only gripe with it, it looks barren. It looks a little it looks a little empty. And I, I don't know if they're still working on this or not. But if they are, I would have them put some stuff in the middle ground. When it comes to game design, there's three. When it comes to art in general, actually, there's three layers of uh, a scenery. You got the foreground, and that's everything happening up front. That's usually the main character, so you so the player can see what what's going on. Players, enemies, interactables, stuff like that. Then you have the background, and that's everything in the back. That's just big, usually big objects to uh to fill in the space in the back there. It really sells your scenery. The middle ground, though, is just as important. The middle ground could be where the players or the enemies are, and you have stuff in the in the front of them, like bushes, grasses, flowers, and stuff like that, to uh, fill in the spaces there to make it look really nice. Or you can have stuff behind them as well, like rocks and and smaller plants and vegetation, maybe just like armor sitting there. All of that combined together makes a really nice looking scene. This, there's there's too much empty space here. There's too much like, this feels like I'm in the void. And there's nothing wrong with that, but... It needs a little more polish. What? Oh. Um. Not gonna talk about that. And you are bound to me by the blood spent revitalizing you. Listen, I am not unreasonable. Just focus on one at a time. And before you know it, you will be free of me. Yes. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Was that supposed to be yes? That's not a yeah. That is a. <laughs> the I feel like the 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 characters uh doesn't really match the background. Um, I'm not saying to like blend it in. I'm just saying it feel it feels a little off. It feels like it's made for a different game and just it was just stuck in here. 
This music works perfectly for the beginning of the game with this creepy voice, but later when you're fighting giant demons with epic spells, I want to hear some action sounds here. I want to hear some sound effects, some action noises, and I don't want to hear this creepy guy talk all the way through. He's a great voice actor, don't get me wrong, and it's not a bad trailer. It's actually one of the better trailers I've seen, but like, this is such a good intro. Add some mystery and stuff, and then this happens, and you're like, this feels a little off now. You're sending me mixed signals here. Is this still supposed to be a creepy mystery game? Or am I fighting here? If I'm fighting here, give me some sound effects, give me some epic music, um, and you can keep this creepy voice, it just pace it out so we can have some time for like the action here. But other than that, this game actually looks a lot of fun to play. What is that? That's, that's freaking awesome, and all I hear is a, ooh, all these monsters, ooh. But this guy just, this drag, just, I'm gonna replay this, and I- Wasn't that, wasn't that cooler? How cool was that? Like, you're selling yourself short here, guys. You guys have a really cool looking game. I think... I think ending on this crap here is the best way to end this video. If y'all didn't enjoy and you want to help me out, hit that like button for algorithms. Put something in the comments because I love you all and I want to talk to you. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. With that said, hope you all have a wonderful day. Hey, and guess what? I love you.